Are you ready for an exciting journey? We're at SeaWorld Orlando today for our last summer escape before school starts. Smash that subscribe button, pack your bags, and come along. It's gonna be a blast. SeaWorld Orlando, as we mentioned, and we're gonna show you what all day dining is about and the value you can get from that. But since dining doesn't really open at 11 a.m. throughout the park, we're gonna ride a couple of rides. The first one, one of our favorites. We got Icebreaker with only a 10 minute wait. We're gonna GoPro this and see what you guys think. Before we get on Icebreaker, we wanna go ahead and show you the seat and see how that fits. Ah, whoops. So there is a buckle mechanism as well. So there's a buckle mechanism as well. So you gotta make sure you fit in the buckle. You gotta stretch that out. Buckle up right here. Locked and loaded. All right, we're gonna get the green light. Make sure you get the green light. And boom, there we go, we got green. So we're all set. You guys ready to conquer Icebreaker? All right, this is the one we're getting on. We're in the front row. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready, Anthony? Let's do it. Okay, let's get on. It's the icebreaker. A lot. It's time to break the ice. Here we go. Let's sleep. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, you just conquered Icebreaker. I hope you enjoyed our little POV there of Icebreaker at the front row. I've actually only been on the ride twice, and that was my first time in the front row. And I admit, it's the first time I've opened my eyes during that ride, at least during the beginning portion. Any other time, I had my eyes closed, and then when we got over that first loop, then they were open. But let's see what the kids thought about that. What did you guys think of that front row experience on Icebreaker? It was fun. I liked it, even though I've ridden it a couple of times before. It's still a good ride. Right now until September 4th, SeaWorld Orlando has the Craft Beer Festival where you can basically sample different beers as well as different foods from all around. Here at the Glacier Bar by Icebreaker, you've got a pumpkin ale and an IPA, the, pumpkin, the Night Owl Pumpkin Ale and the Space Dust IPA, as well as some other brews they have here, including some signature cocktails, a spicy pineapple margarita and a sparkling mojito. And here inside the Glacier Bar, you can actually see some of the pricing for their drinks, as well as what they offer when not with the festival. They also have already pre-mixed frozen cocktails, such as a pina colada, strawberry daiquiri, and Jack and Coke. 
Also over in this area, they have different TVs, almost like in a sports bar atmosphere with Coca-Cola freestyle machines for your refillable cups, which you can actually get 99 cent refills all season long or unlimited refills for the day for $5.99 plus tax. So it's 11 a.m. and we are here at our first all-day dine location, Altitude Burgers, right by Icebreaker. One beautiful thing about all-day dine is you can actually purchase it at any of the locations that offer all-day dining. And all-day dining at SeaWorld Orlando includes one entree, your non-alcoholic beverage, and then a side or dessert of choice as often as every 90 minutes. So here's the menu that they have here for your little explorers with your sides. You got your chicken nuggets or chicken wrap and your sides of fruit, cheese sticks and marinara, onion rings and french fries. Then you've got, for the adults, the Altitude Burger, which does qualify on the all-day dine. Your cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, and then grilled chicken salad or chicken Caesar wrap. And then your fountain drinks, which are included, but your bottled beer and on-tap drafts are not, of course. You've got your oranges and cookies down here for your desserts. There's your Caesar wraps and then your salad. And then for the desserts also, you've got, looks like a chocolate, cupcake, a regular cupcake, chocolate cake, and then a strawberry cheesecake, which is a favorite of ours. And this is the Altitude Burger, which has a cheeseburger patty, bacon, onion ring, and a mozzarella stick right on top, and of course it's a side of fries. Since it comes with a side already, you can get your dessert, which is where the strawberry cheesecake comes into play. And then our selection of beverages to choose from. We've got Coke, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Minute Maid Lemonade, Minute Maid Apple Juice, High Seafood Punch, Sprite, and Phantom Orange. As you can see from the receipt here, it was $49.99 for all day dining for two people. And if you remember that price of the burger, it was $24.99. And then the drink is probably another three or four dollars. And then dessert's another three or four dollars, or if not more. So really a 30, almost a $35 value, but you're getting it for your all day dining plan. So in reality, if you get two of these meals throughout the day, you've paid for your dining plan. So we do get a $5 discount for each of the all-day dinings because of our silver pass member status. And they do charge a $5 surcharge for whatever reason. We ended up paying $101.16 for our all-day dining for two people. And it's good at many different locations here at SeaWorld, which we will try to show you a couple more later today. Hopefully you already see the value of having all-day dine here at SeaWorld Orlando, just based off of what we got at Altitude Burger. We're gonna show you a few more other places today, hopefully, that will give you an idea of what else you can get on the all-day dine plan. But in the meantime, we're gonna get on another ride. Well, at least the kids will. Christy and I are gonna sit out of this one because we're still digesting, but the kids, they're gonna go on Journey to Atlantis, which is a unique water roller coaster. So here is where they have the big drop. And although you may think this is the end of the ride as many other flume rides would be, it is not. After this portion, you get, you know what, instead of me showing you and telling you what it is, why don't we get the GoPro out and have the kids show you all about this ride.
He was awesome. Yeah, pretty much awesome. Yeah. I would have to agree with her. It's a boat ride roller coaster fusion type thing and it's it's a really interesting and unique experience. This is our first time on it, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. But overall, what would you rate this one out of a scale of one to ten? An eight. Solid eight? Yeah, solid eight. Yeah, I think I'll go with a solid eight out of ten. This is a pretty good ride. You guys gotta try it yourself. Comment down below and subscribe if you've ridden Journey to Atlantis. Our second meal of the all-day dine for today is going to be at the Waterway Grill over by Infinity Falls. We're going to go inside and see what we're going to eat. Here at Waterway Grill, you're going to also find the Coca-Cola Pass Member Lounge, which we do talk about in another SeaWorld video. The link of that will be in the description as well as show it for you on the upper right-hand corner. For now, we are going to head over to the side and see what's on the menu. Here at the Waterway Grill, you're gonna find typically like a Tex-Mex type of flavors. You're gonna have Amazon chicken salad, as you see there on the screen, that looks really good. And then entrees such as a grilled churrasco steak, chicken sofrito, and slow roasted smoked pork. All of those come with cilantro rice and black beans. And then a chicken tender platter for those who are, might be a little bit pickier. And then for your sides, you have seasoned fries, cilantro rice and black beans, sweet plantains and fresh fruit, and desserts of Oreo cupcake, strawberry cupcake, and a chocolate chip cookie. I think we're gonna go with the slow roasted smoked pork and the Oreo cupcake. So here's the slow roasted smoked pork, which is marinated in tropical mojo citrus juice with cilantro rice and black beans. And then the kids got themselves the chicken tender platter, those crispy chicken tenders with seasoned fries. And then we also got a cookie for the dessert for the kids and then the Oreo cupcake for me and Christy. So that smoked pork is $17.99. The chicken tenders were $17.99 as well. Based off of the desserts and the tenders and the meals we got here, plus the two drinks we've got received, we easily would have spent $25 on all this food. So just for those two meals, as mentioned, we would have made it with the all-day dine. I'm gonna try some of this pork with the cilantro rice and the marinade, looks really good. It's not dry at all, it's very juicy. The cilantro rice stands out. Good choice. Now let's go for the black beans. The beans could use a little bit more sauce, like a broth. They're kind of dry, but still if you like the type, this type of food, the Tex-Mex flavoring, I think it's a good choice here at the Waterway Grill. If Anthony wants to try this pork as well, let's see what he thinks. I like it. The chicken is seasoned very well. The rice is nice. Overall, I like it. Now Lorelai's up. Mmm! It's very juicy, nice and tender. It's perfectly seasoned. I really like it. Christy was telling me that actually as you go further down with the beans, it does look a bit uh, more moist. So let's give this a try now. That's better as far as the beans. Mix some of the pork up. I'm a huge fan of cilantro, so that cilantro rice is amazing. You go into any good Tex-Mex place and they have cilantro rice, it's usually a win for us. So, this is our first time eating this here at SeaWorld. A good spot, again, they have other Tex-Mex options as you saw when we were up at the menu. I would highly recommend it. After this, we're gonna see if we can catch another ride or two. It did just rain, so we'll find out. We can't end the lunch time period without having some of this Oreo cupcake, which Christy already had some, she said it was good, but Anthony, he's a big cookies and cream fan, so he's gonna give it a try. I like it, the cupcake is nice, chocolatey and fluffy, like that Oreo kind of chocolatey that, that I really like. The, um, the icing on top, the, cre the cookies and cream icing on top is really good, nice, nice and light, fluffy, and with the little Oreo pieces on top, adds a subtle crunch to it. Overall, I really like it. And I think Lorelai wants to give it a try now. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. I think she liked it. That is so good. My favorite part, the spoon. What was that, Anthony? My favorite part about anything. Licking the spoon when she's done. 
Kind of like licking the batter off of a, of, of a exactly. cake batter. Exactly. All right, time for me to get a piece of this now. If I can get a good spot there. There we go. There we go. Nice big piece. It's what you would expect in an Oreo cupcake. Very chocolatey. The whipped cream, it's a whipped cream on the top. It's not a buttercream. And it's cookies and cream, whipped cream. Honestly, I like it better than Disney cupcakes. I will, I will say that. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. We're gonna finish this. Next up on our itinerary is Mako, which we've already done for you guys. But we're gonna try to get a backseat view this time of the ride. The 25 minute wait. Let's go check out the ride seat and get on this coaster. Here's the ride seat for Mako. Let me go into the audio for you to see what it looks like. And yes, this is the only way to actually ride Mako. There is no belt. It's just this lap bar. Especially this on lap bar for Mako. Locks you right in. You do get a lot of air time on this ride. But it's pretty safe, to be honest. Of course, safety is a huge priority. So let's get on the ride. It's our shark. Mako suck the doo doo doo. -doo. Mako suck the doo doo doo. Mako suck the doo doo doo. We just got off back row of Mako. What's your uh, post-ride reaction there? I have never ridden in the back of Mako before. I'm used to riding in the front row where you're just staring down at the drop and it's just so suspenseful. No, not this time. You literally go so fast up there and the others in the front, when they drop, you like get pulled and it whips you over that first drop. and it, it caught me off guard. It was scary for a second. That was amazing. Just like Anthony, this was also my first time in the back row. It was actually my second time on the ride. Again, that first time I've been on it. You can see that video in the description. This might be the last ride for the day because we have an event to join for the last evening of the Summer Spectacular Concert Series. Skillet is here, a band that we love. And we're going to try to see if we can get some of that for you because of copyright reasons, probably not a whole lot. but. Let's go up and enjoy some rock. While we wait in line for the Skillet concert, we're gonna make a stop here at Panini Shore Cafe for our third meal on the All Day Dine. This is located right outside of Mako, and they feature paninis of all shapes and sizes. Well, mainly just different flavors of paninis. 
The menu here consists of a Cuban sandwich, turkey panini, caprese panini, and chicken pesto panini. You see the pricing there, $13.99 for most of those, except for the caprese, which is $11.99. I think Anthony's gonna go for the caprese, and I'm gonna go for the Cuban sandwich. And of course, it does come with a side of chips, so you have a decent selection here, and your beverage, which is $5.49. So again, look at the cost. We've easily made our money's worth on the all-day dine today. And we might have one more meal to boot. We have the caprese sandwich here, and I think Anthony's gonna take that first bite. All right, here we go. They had these pre-made already, so I'm not sure how long they were sitting out there, but let's see how they are. It's hot. It is really hot. All right, ready? The bread is nice and fluffy. The cheese is really melty, which I would expect from a hot sandwich. I really like the tomatoes and the, I think, what is it, arugula? They add a really nice um, crunch to it. Overall, it's really good. It's really good. Lorelai's gonna go in for her bite. Definitely uh, got cheese though. Bread is fluffy on the inside and then toasty on the out. The cheese is nice and melty. It's really gooey. So overall positive review on our Carpeza sandwich, guys? Yep. Okay, now it's time for me to try the Cuban. It's definitely very hot. I'm gonna rip it open. First of all though, I wanna take a look at that inside. It looks pretty meaty, pretty good. Pretty filled up. Think it'll work? It is hot. So the bread doesn't have the crunch that I would expect in a Cuban sandwich. Honestly, the bread, uh, honestly, the Cuban strawberry header a lot better. Check out the video in the upper right hand corner in the description to see what I'm talking about and you'll learn more about that Cuban. But even though the bread is kind of soft, it is, uh, it's got the nice saltiness there of the pork and the mustard really helps balance out that flavor with that tanginess. Overall, a great option, especially for all-day dine, where all this comes with it. You've got your sandwich, you've got your chips, you got your drink. Completely, totally worth it. We're gonna wait in line for the concert and hopefully bring some of that to you as well. We made it inside to the Nautilus Theater to watch Skillet. We've got some pretty decent seats here. Maybe we'll get some of those songs. All right, guys, you guys ready? Oh, yeah! Hopefully we can get some songs for you. I'll keep as much as I can. Let's enjoy some skillets. How you doing today, Sea Lord? Sing with me. I feel a feeling. And then some help.
like Skillet, you already know, but if you want to hear more about them, check out the link to their website on our description. And I think we're going to go ahead and get food one more time and then call it the day. Let's see what we're going to have for our dinner time. We've made it to Lakeside Grill Sea World. It's a cantina that serves up more Tex-Mex food. Uh, so here at Lakeside Grill, you've got tacos and bowls, burgers and fries, salad, of course, your sides and dessert, and your beverages. We've actually never been to this location before, so we're really excited to try it out, and we're gonna let you in on it. The girls got the Lakeside Rice Bowl, which has, looks like uh, chicken in there, the rice, lettuce, and they put some sour cream comes with a side of refried beans with it looks like cojita cheese and the dessert they got is a strawberry cupcake. Christy just had some of that refried beans. How was it really good? Yeah. Alright Lorelai, you ready to try some of that food there? Oh yeah. Gonna get some of that rice, cheese, cheese and uh, chicken and all that stuff. Ooh, it's loaded here. Mmm! This is really good. Well, there's your sign of approval. And then we should go try some of these refried beans now. These look like really good refried beans. I love, I love refried beans. So, approve of the new place of Lakeside Grill? Mm -hmm. Now, we've never been here before. All right, Anthony's turn. We've got the three mini tacos, which these actually are really well sized and they loaded the chicken on it. You can't see it under all that lettuce, but there's a ton of chicken there. Comes with a side of refried beans and rice, which they loaded that up again with the coquita cheese. And then we got the strawberry cheesecake for the dessert. All right, Anthony, dive on in. They did put some cheese on that uh, toppings as well. They have a topping bar where you can add extra toppings. Only had lettuce right now, but I'm sure it's just because of the time of day, because it is late. Here we go. Am I, am I honest? Not too big of a fan of the tortilla. As you can see, it didn't hold up too well with all that meat. But the meat itself is very well seasoned, very tender. It goes really well with the cheese, and then the nice crunch of the lettuce really complements it well. All right, awesome. How was that rice over here, by the way? How was the rice? Is it seasoned? The, the rice is good? Seasoned well? It's not dry? No. It's okay. perfectly cooked. It's moist and seasoned very well. with lots of flavor. And I think it's time for me to try some of this food. My turn for some of this taco. Yeah, it's definitely not holding up well. It's falling apart. So I might have to uh, fork and knife this one or just fork it. So first impression, the tortilla looks like a flour tortilla, but it tastes like a corn tortilla. And I think that's part of the problem. I'm not a big fan of corn tortillas. So I would probably opt for the rice bowl next time. However, the chicken is really good. It's not, it's not too dry. It's a little bit on the dry side, but there's flavor with it. I think the uh, rice bowl would probably be a better choice, but I am going to try, try some of these refried beans now. See how that looks. If you like refried beans, those are amazing. Not too salty. Um, it's, it's, it's very, it's, they pureed a little bit, which you, this is like, that's how I, I like refried beans. I don't like them very chunky. And the colita cheese, it's amazing. I'll try a little bit of this rice now and see if that rice theory actually holds up. Take a look at it, it's got some nice spices in there as well. I think I like the rice the best. Super good, it's like that saffron in it. That's my favorite part, to be honest. Here's our strawberry cupcake. Go at it, Lorelei. This is so beautiful, I kind of don't want to eat it. Okay, you don't have to, you can give it to mommy. Excuse me? Just kidding, go ahead. So if it's anything like the Oreo cupcake, then I think it's gonna be Ooh, good. it's thick, like cold. Oh, so it's like... probably buttercream icing then. <gasps> Do you think she liked it? <laughs> That's so good. I can't tell if it's buttercream or cold whipped cream, but it tastes like strawberries. So we finished our dinner for this evening and we're gonna call it the day. But hopefully this video showed you the great value it is to have all day dining here at SeaWorld. We ended up having four full meals, and if you saw the prices that we showed you earlier, we only paid $49.99 per person, and we got really good meals out of it. 
Two meals is all it takes to make, make that value worth it, especially if you do it right, which is what we did. And we enjoyed food all day long, and we showed four different locations for you. I hope you did enjoy our journey here at SeaWorld Orlando as much as we did. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell to come along with us on other future journeys. In the meantime, as always, it has been a great, big, beautiful day. We hope you had one too, and we will see you real soon.